Ever since we were young enough to learn about the planets of our solar system, our elementary knowledge and understanding of the rings that surround them changes and grows over time. For instance, when we first learn about planets, we learn about Saturn and its iconic rings, believing it to be the only object in the relative vicinity to feature these unique bands of ice and rock. Then we get older and learn that Saturn isn't alone in its ring-bearing existence. As it turns out, the other planets beyond the asteroid belt, namely Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, all feature rings around their bodies as well. The difference is that Saturn's rings are much brighter and bigger than its neighboring planet's rings, which are not always illustrated when dissecting the imagery of our solar system and its planets. In fact, our understanding of rings pales so much in comparison with reality that it's not really that surprising to hear Earth itself used to feature a ring system millions upon millions of years ago. It just so happened these rings coalesced into the moon and the ring system became a single satellite. But what if we told you there are still objects out there in our solar system today that feature a ring system you've never heard about? It's true. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are not the solar system's lone ring bearers, let alone the rest of the universe. Introducing 101-99 Cariclo, a ring-laden centaur garnering more and more attention from astronomers and amateurs alike. The first notion of Cariclo's existence came on February 15, 1997 when a member of the Space Watch program by the name of James V. Scotty spotted the centaur orbiting within a relatively close resonance to Uranus, all from the Kitt Peak National Observatory. Centaurs are defined as any small body of the outer solar system that is not already constituting as a planet, asteroid, comet, or star. In our solar system, most centaurs come from the Kuiper Belt, a much larger and expansive disk than the asteroid belt that sits just beyond Neptune's orbit. The Kuiper Belt was formed by remnants of the event that first created our solar system, and consists of many famous exoplanets that have been studied for years, and were even included as official planets, such as Pluto. Cariclo is much smaller than Pluto, its volume equivalent diameter stretching only to about 155 miles long. In 2014, it was measured at being around 1.4 billion miles from the Sun, and 1.3 billion miles from Earth. While it orbits closest to Neptune, it won't even be within 300 million miles of the Big Blue Planet for another 30,000 years. With that in mind, it's easy to understand why it went undetected for so long. Upon its discovery, Cariclo was named after the daughter of Apollo, and the wife of an actual centaur named Chiron. In Greek mythology, Cariclo was a nymph who worked as a nurse to the young Achilles, another prominent figure of Greek myths and lore. In 2001, a more in-depth study was held using photometric technology in an attempt to learn more about the makeup of the newfound centaur. Researchers discovered Cariclo played host to water ice, an exciting revelation despite the study being unable to define the minor planet's period of rotation. As for the ice-ridden centaur itself, it was estimated to be of an elongated shape and made up of rock and the aforementioned water ice. Its fate is currently unknown, as all centaurs originating from the Kuiper Belt are unpredictable. Other centaurs have been observed to be ejected from our solar system completely, turn into a short period comet, or impact directly into another planet or the sun itself. Most centaurs do not have stable orbits, meaning they could go both anywhere and everywhere. Cariclo was determined to have a much less unstable orbit than most other centaurs, however. It's now believed that while the Cariclo's orbit half-life takes approximately 10.3 million years to complete, 
it's not in any danger of being thrust from its semi-orbit either into another object or away from the solar system entirely. In 2008, astronomers noticed something was off regarding 10199 Cariclo, and the confusion only grew over the next five years as the anomaly festered. Researchers noticed that the centaur had dimmed in the 11 years since its discovery, only for its luminescence to increase in the months and years after the initial realization. It wasn't just Cariclo's brightness that stumped astronomers, though. They were also perplexed by the apparent disappearance of water ice features found in earlier studies, followed by an equally perplexing reappearing of these same features after the realization in 2008. Experts wouldn't be able to put the pieces together until 2013, when Cariclo underwent a stellar occultation under observation for the first time. Stellar occultation is when an object, in this case a star, becomes hidden due to another object passing in front of it. For this specific occultation, scientists finally learned of Cariclo's pair of rings that surround the centaur's body. Not only would these rings explain the changes in luminescence, but also the changes in water ice features due to a process known as edge-on orientation. Edge-on orientation simply means our viewpoint of the object in space at any given time focuses on its side rather than its face. Due to the elongated shape of Cariclo, its edge-on orientation would have made its rings visible to Earth, but because the rings are darker, it made the centaur appear less bright up until 2008. With the rings fading into the picture, it also helped astronomers pinpoint the water ice features coming in and out of the fray. It's believed the rings are heavily made up of water ice pieces, much like a smaller version of another ringed planet, like Saturn. The rings themselves are named after the two Brazilian rivers that make up the coastal borders of the South American country. Oyapok is the name of the larger inner ring, whereas Shui is the name of the fainter outer ring. The radius of Oyapok measures to be about 240 miles long and 4.3 miles wide, while the radius of Shui measures to be about 250 miles long and one-tenth miles wide. The rings sit just under 9 miles apart from one another. What makes the rings of Shariklo so fascinating is the fact that no other minor planet has been presently observed to contain a ring system. For years, astronomers believed only much more massive celestial objects could harbor a ring system, as only the bigger objects were thought to offer enough stability for rings to both form and stay. It wasn't for a lack of trying either. While the rings of Cariclo were a happy accident when discovered, Experts have been searching throughout the cosmos for exoplanets and objects smaller than the gas giants that feature rings. It just hadn't happened yet. One thing astronomers do assuredly believe will happen is the rings surrounding Cariclo will most likely disperse throughout the solar system within the next 1 to 3 million years. It all comes down to the age of Cariclo. Due to the fact that such a small space object contains rings, it's believed they are still relatively young when compared to the rest of the universe. If the rings themselves aren't especially young, another way to explain the presence of rings is by using theoretical shepherd moons that may or may not exist throughout the ring system. Shepherd moons are any natural satellite found within a ring system that avoids any and all disk material in its orbital path, helping to maintain the rest of the ring's makeup contained and in uniform with the rest of the disk. In other words, the disk material is the herd, the millions of particles on their individual level are the sheep, and the satellite moon is the shepherd, keeping control over its flock. Shepherd moons act as herders due to gravity and orbital resonance. The moon's gravity slowly picks up the pieces to the disk as it completes its orbits, only to avert the pieces from their original orbit and maintain their locked position around the planet. One final explanation certain corners of astronomy have given in regards to Cariclo's rings is the Lindblad residence. Lindblad residences 
are similar to Shepard Moon's, and that the force outputted by a satellite's density creates an orbital residence with the outside particles. However, these create spiral density waves because of the centaur's shape, and not wholly from the moon's orbit. While we wait for more information regarding Cariclo and its mysterious rings to be made public, one thing we can look forward to in anticipation is the Camilla mission. Its concept first published in the summer of 2018, Camilla will be a new Frontiers program hosted by NASA that will see a spacecraft venture through the solar system before flying by Cariclo itself and studying the entire Centaur. NASA has since stated the goals of Camilla are specifically to lock down the Shepard Moon's question and analyze exactly why rings have formed around the minor planet. This information would then help astronomers learn more about the creation of centaurs and how rings form around smaller space objects like asteroids and dwarf planets. Unfortunately, we will also have to wait a while for the Camilla mission to materialize, let alone send back data. Currently, the Camilla spacecraft is scheduled to launch in September of 2026. In February 2027, it will use a gravity assist from Venus, followed by Earth later that December, and again in 2029. By October of 2031, Camilla will reach Jupiter and use one final gravity assist to slingshot towards Cariclo, before jettisoning from the solar system completely at the beginning of 2039. To complete its studies, Camilla will include imaging equipment and a radiometer on board, as well as spectral scanners and other various technologies. While it may be another 16 years or so before we learn much of anything new regarding Cariclo, at least we'll always have the James Webb Telescope's newest image, depicting an actual stellar occultation in real time as Cariclo passes in front of a star. These images were captured on October 18th 2022, and as of today, serve as the best look we've got at one of the most mysterious yet enlightening objects not really known in our solar system. Hopefully, by the winter of 2039, 10199 Cariclo will be just as well known as the rest of them.